wise man once said, why should we not all live in peace and harmony? We look up at the same stars, we are fellow passengers on the same flight, and we dwell beneath the same sky. What matters it along which road each individual endeavors to find the ultimate truth? Here is a young lady. She looks out upon the same stars, the same sky as you and I. Yours, mine, hers. But who is she? And why is she here? Perhaps she can tell you better than I can. Well, <coughs> my name is Ulla Dresbach, and I'm from Germany. I got a master's degree in agriculture at the University of Bonn, and I'm now here to study agriculture information on a three-month trip, which is sponsored by the MSA that I think it's connected with the federal government of America. And <coughs> I'm, uh, well, I got a lot of information before about America. And uh, the truth is that I'm very fond of modern American literature. I like to read Thomas Wolfe and Thornton Wilder, John Steinbeck, and James Herbert and so. And then I got a lot of information of my friends who have been here, my father and so. But it's a quite different thing if you can take or make your experiences yourself. And the one thing which improved, impressed me mostly, most, was that everything is so very large here. The traffic, the buildings. I got terribly afraid of it. I didn't get out of the hotel because I feared I would get lost. But now I'm here about five weeks and I'm getting more familiar to this. There are some things which are very different from Germany or America. And uh, the one is that the standard of living is very high here compared with our standard of living. And the things which impress me most are that you have thousands of so practical and handy things for your householding. I'm uh, I've never seen so well equipped kitchen as here, freezers. I wish I could take one home. We don't have that. But I've never seen so many men in aprons here. They are so, uh, well, they work in the kitchen too. They can make lunch and dinner. That wouldn't you, uh, well, you wouldn't find uh, many men in Germany who would like to do this. And uh, I think this, the place of women is different too. But to be frank, I think they have much more to say here as they have in Germany. And as far as I could see things over here, you are, the women are, have a lot of organizations. They are very much involved into public or church life. We don't have that. You wouldn't find in Germany so many women in, in a high position in industry, industry or government. We have some organizations, but they are more or less unimportant. And just regarding my own family, we, I think we wouldn't like to, that our mother would be, devote her time to clubs meetings or something like that. I think my father would be terribly upset if he comes ho home and finds out that she had gone to a club meeting. It's the way that uh, a married woman in Germany devotes most of her time to her household, to her children and to her husband. It's, there's a change after the war because there are so many women who are forced to earn their own living, to stand on their feet. But uh, there may be there are a lot of women who are interested in work and who enjoy to work. But if they are married, they don't care so much of it. But uh, these things, I think, are not so very important. 
And uh, if you want me to tell something about uh, your church life or your politics, I think, or community life, I th think you have a very strong feeling for the community. We do you have a very strong feeling of to help each other. Maybe we don't have it too much. Maybe we, we should have it more than you have, uh, than the way you have it here. And, uh, no, I'm just thinking. Well, I'm sorry that my <laughs> English is so bad and that I'm uh, lacking so many words to express my very thoughts about it. And, uh, I think it's even difficult to me to speak on a television screen because I've never done it before in all my life. But you don't want me to talk so ma many things about me. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should tell you more about the things I found in America. Somebody asked me if uh, there's a lot of difference in culture or not. I wouldn't say that there's no culture in America. I maybe sometimes I'm missing uh, or I think there could be more individuality. We have too much. That's a bad thing too. I know that. But um, regarding the people, I wouldn't have imagined that the Americans are so friendly, so kind to you and their hospitality is generous and trusting. I've met so many people who are willing to to answer my questions and to, uh, well, to help me where I am, I even in the big and very busy city. I wouldn't have expected that, but I'm feeling, well, I'm feeling very happy about it. There is, maybe there's even a good difference between American farm life and German farm life. I could tell you a bit about the um, the women's work on the farm in Germany. The farm used to be very small, even so small that the family couldn't live of it. And then the men has, go, uh, has to go to a factory to work there. And the woman is, the woman is, all, is doing all the farm work. She goes into this cow, state, cow barn. She feeds the pigs, she feeds the chickens, she raises her children, she has to do the laundry, she has to do the kitchen, the preparing the food. She's busy all the day, but she's so used to it that she doesn't want to be progressive. It's very hard to get um, her used to new, uh, to new things. We try to do it, we try to help them. We, are, we have... Uh, home economic advisors too in Germany but uh, people they are sometimes I think they are very stubborn and old-fashioned conservative they, they won't let you to help them but I think that well the time is changing and uh, maybe as if I've heard here you had the same uh, situation 30 years ago and now uh, I'm always astonished how your agriculture information is used by the farm people. How they call up the university to get some bulletins or to get information about a certain thing. They are quite familiar with it. That's the difference at home. And in my office we try to help them. We try to, to get them to use this information. And, um, well, it's a hard work to get it and to do this. And this is a, this is a purpose of our project that we can hear, uh, that we can study here, your information and extension work. We couldn't need it at home, I'm sure, but we can pick up very good ideas and you can use ideas, you can change them, you can uh, make them similar <coughs> to your own situation. And uh, besides of this, I think there's no, well, there's no better way to get uh, understanding between nations, between people, 
that you can send over groups of young people or older people, that doesn't matter. That they can get acquainted with your way of living, with the way you think. And I'm so happy to be here and to have the chance. I think I would never have the occasion to come to America if it hadn't happened to be that your government put off this or put on this uh, exchange program between the nations. And when I come back, I can tell a lot about things I've seen here. I can try to explain how you are and why you are so and how is your social and geological and hi historical structure. And I hope all this will help us, maybe you, and I hope that this understanding will increase by sending groups over here. And I wish there could be a lot of Americans coming over to Germany and uh, seeing how very different, uh, different it is, but that there is a lot of goodwill to do it, to be progressive, to raise production. Well, to be, to be on the, to be in a whole, uh, in a very big community of all the nations, I mean of the Western nations. And I'm sure that the success maybe is not so big, but even if it is only a small one, it will help us a lot to do this. I'm quite sure that I didn't say the things I really wanted to say, but um, I hope you'll pardon this, because it's very hard to express your feelings in a foreign language, as maybe you could do it in your own one. Yes, today you have met Miss Eula Dressbach from Germany, and she's told you, in her own way, how she feels. And we're not inclined, in a way, to agree with her that she didn't express herself so well. I'm sure many of us would have had a much more difficult time doing it in her language. Just exactly why did we ask Miss Resbach to speak to you today? Why is she here? Well, she's a young lady from Germany, once a faraway country, now a country that's only a few hours from the United States by air. And in this shrinking world, we do have our differences. We must live with them, she with ours and we with hers. But those differences are superficial, for beneath them lie all of the things in which we are alike. Our common needs, our necessities, our wants, our likes and dislikes, our common humanity. So we ask you to remember well this young lady from Germany, a fellow person who is a fellow traveler on the same planet who lives under the same sky and looks up at the same stars as you and I. 